So I've been training for FIFA 17. Yeah, I've literally just been playing FIFA 16, but that is not what I want to show you guys today. Basically, as we know, the transfer window has now closed. Uh, teams are only entitled to sign up free agents, uh, for, as far as I'm aware, like loaned deals. I think they've changed that. We'll have to have a look. But what I wanted to show you today is bring to your guys' attention some of those FIFA 17 transfers, which are really, really important, like certain players that have gone to leagues, which is a new nationality. But I'll get into that in just uh, in just a minute so if you enjoy drop a like if you're needing ultimate team coins head over to fifa ultimate team coins.com links below in the description use the code fuji get yourself that discount or if you are wishing to purchase games head over to g2a and also use that code fuji so i did say i am now in training for fifa 17 basically what that is is me going back on fifa 16 and using the 4-2-3-1 formation i really do feel that it's going to be one of the best to use and i just want to get used to the structure and, and where the actual players are positioning themselves i don't know if it's going to make much of a difference but time will tell so i want to go through and explain what i'm on about with these new transfers so with joe hart going to torino that is an english goalkeeper being transferred over to the Serie A. that is very very important for hybrids because when was the last english goalkeeper in the Serie A? exactly like we didn't have one on fifa 15 nor did we have one on fifa 16 so it's really really good i like that transfer and it's and it's a good goalkeeper as well joe hart should have a really really nice rating so in the right back position we have perez he's a new transfer but he's not uh, one of the most recent we've got castan i have no idea what is going on with castan he seems to be like owned by two clubs i don't think that is true but i try to check out where he's going and it looks like after his loan deal to uh, torino he goes back to Roma and then goes back to another club. It's very, very confusing. But as far as I'm aware, he is going to be at Torino on FIFA 17. So that's an awesome link right there. Then another one, Mustafi. What Arsenal have been signing players? Mustafi to the BPL. Now, the only other option that we had as far as German players go was well, Mertesacker. You had Huth. Um, Wolschweid from Stoke City but they are all very very slow let's face it nobody uses those but Mustafi is an important player because he has a great nationality he's now in the Barclays Premier League and he should be a very very nice player but then we have Gibbs in the side he hasn't been transferred my god where am I going oh my dear I don't know and we've got Emre Chan. he hasn't been transferred Biglia um a turbo not too sure what's going on with him we've got Maya that's really really nice but over in the left mid position we have Connor Pianka this guy I am in two minds right now because if we have a look in the La Liga what is left there we don't really have a cheap cheap winger we could say that Gaetan could possibly be overpowered but I'm sure his rating is going to be anywhere between like 84 to 85 Jesse Rodriguez moved to PSG I know Nani went from the Super League to the La Liga but he's going to have five star skills so it makes him a little bit more expensive than maybe he would have been so yeah Conor Plianka he was a really really good a cheap winger for La Liga so it, it, it kind of sucks but now he's moved to the Bundesliga it's just a really really good uh, link to uh, Schalke and then leading the attack Mbolo this guy is going to be so overpowered you just know it great pace good shot and just a really really good player so that's a team that I put together on FIFA 16 and it was playing really really well but if we go to the bench uh, we also have another signing for Arsenal it is What's his name? Is it Lucas Perez? I want to say it's Lucas, but yeah, Lucas Perez from Arsenal. I don't, there's not really much you can say about this transfer because you did have Diego Costa, but then I think Perez is going to be another overpowered player. Shouldn't be too expensive. I definitely can see an upgrade maybe to an 80 or 81 overall. He is a good player, had a good season. David Luiz back to the Premier League is going to be fantastic. We've got uh, Mangala as well. That's a loan deal to Valencia. You can now partner him up with Varane, which uh, should be a really, really fast attack. And this one right here, you might think, oh, Balotelli sucks, but... I predict he's going to be again overpowered on the game and then we have a Italian link to the La Liga that's the first Italian striker in a long time so that's going to be really really nice and then we have also Perea uh, moving to the uh, Barclays Premier League for Watford he should be overpowered as well so I'm really liking the new transfers and especially Balotelli 
uh, well, Joe Hart, you have Mustafi, all very, very important for hybrids. But anyway, enough of my chit chat. Let's jump into some of the clips and uh, have a look how the team was playing. Let's go. So I'm not too sure if you guys are aware or maybe you've just completely forgot, but usually every single FIFA, they change up the chemistry lines for formations. I'm not on about the actual system itself. So you get seven chem, nine chem. I'm on about like in certain formations, you'll have links going maybe from CDM to cam. And then the next FIFA, they're change that where you won't need the link or maybe you'll need more so yeah do you remember on fifa 12 they had the 4231 formation and i remember using it with the silvers like el sharari you also had uh, el kabir as well and in the 4231 you only needed literally like one link from cam to striker if i remember rightly but yeah usually like every single fifa they changed that so i wonder if that's going to be the case on fifa 17 or they may be just relying on these transfers to keep the game fresh because from what i've seen like people that went to gamescom and they haven't really reported uh, anything on it or maybe they're literally going to leave it right to the last minute and they're going to switch it up on us because personally I'd much prefer if they did that because players that may have been able to get into teams they can't now and then it forces you down a different route I think it just keeps the game fresh and it's so much more enjoyable but we'll have to see because uh, last time uh, they actually changed up I think it was the fourth 4 one 2 one 2 it was one formation that I used to really really like and they completely messed it up for me but but then once again it just forces you down different routes and it keeps the game fresh so we'll have to see what happens but let me know if you know any information on that if i find out anything as well i'll make sure to do a video and keep you guys updated but oh man fifa 17 the demo is out in a couple of days on the 13th so yeah we've, we've got something to look forward to so thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you soon see you now.